before we get to the main event, I got a test for you. Okay. Just to see how well do you know Thailand. Mae Khong or Mai Thai? Mae Khong. Yeah. สวัสดีโอสบายดีสวัสดีสวัสดีค่ะว้าวคุณก็ได้แล้วพอเราไปในเอนท์ 5 recommendations to the newcomers coming to Thailand I like the boat rides the long tail boats eat pad Thai if you're coming with your girlfriends wives not recommended สำหรับนักท่องเที่ยวที่มาเมืองไทยเป็นครั้งแรกนะครับก็อาจจะยังทําตัวไม่ถูกไม่รู้ว่าจะไปไหนไม่รู้ว่าจะทําอะไรนะครับถ้าลองให้นักท่องเที่ยวด้วยกันเนี่ยแนะนําพวกเขาดูว่าถ้าอยากให้พวกเขาคนลองจะมีอะไรบ้างไปถามพวกเขาครับกับฝรั่งคิดยังไงก่อนไปชมคลิปเราขอแจ้งว่าเพื่อนๆทุกคนสามารถช่วยสนับสนุนช่องของเราได้แล้วโดยการสมทบทุนทางบัญชียักคิวทีวีตามเลขบัญชีนี้ครับถ้าชอบคอนเทนต์ของเราเห็นว่าคลิปนี้มีประโยชน์และอยากให้เราทําต่อไปไม่หายไปไหนซะก่อนกําลังใจเล็กๆน้อยๆของทุกคนช่วยต่อพลังให้เราได้ครับ Now, for the main event, of all your experience, uh, both in Pattaya and in Bangkok, any five things and uh, like five things you would recommend a newcomer to Thailand would yeah. do to try. So first thing, uh, use public transport. Second thing, um, if you're visit, uh, coming here for visiting purpose or roaming purpose, then go Tiger Park. It's awesome. Floating market. And uh, yeah, that walking street is amazing for Indians especially. And uh, Coral Islands. Many water activities you can experience over there. I think one of the best things to eat the local food. You know, don't be afraid to go to the night markets, to the street markets. It's really good. Um, go with the activities organized by your hostels. You know, it's a great way to like, meet people doing the same thing. Activities usually it's a pretty good price. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you should go to more than one place to you see the kind of you know a broad spectrum. But also spend some time in the places. Don't rush through, you know. Then go to the south. Very nice. Eat pad thai. Take a roti. A roti. I think it's good to have some plants yeah, because yeah because uh, <laughs> we don't have plan. <laughs> we don't have plan and yeah I want to go to north because there are a lot of. Very good places. I want to go to South, and I have to choose. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those here. I noticed. Uh, I like the boat rides, the long tail boats. Those are really good experience here. Uh, you can boat around the island. Good time. Um, yeah, so definitely the boat rides. Uh, Khao Sok National Park was oh, right, right. incredible. And those would be my top two right now, I would say. Well, the first thing uh, I should try is the train between Chiang Mai and Bangkok. Ooh. It's like 13 hours train. And it's unbelievable. It's not comfy. It's not comfortable at all. But it's such an experience as you travel all around like through Thailand and you stop in some tiny little villages to the station where nothing but dogs around. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Where I visit Pai, Pai. Pai in the north of Thailand is such a beautiful tiny little village. For a while I would say I've been to Chiang Rai, the north of Chiang Rai, right at the border with Laos and Myanmar in this place called the Golden Triangle. It's nothing. When you are there, you see the two rivers, the Mekong River, mm -hmm. and the other one, I can't remember the name, where join together and split three countries in, in like one kilometer. It's such a beautiful place. That's why you said Mekong back there, because you heard of Mekong Yeah, River. yeah, it was, it was. Mekong or Mai Thai. Mekong. Yeah. <laughs> I was prepared, I was prepared. <laughs> the fourth one, a journey in the boat here in Bangkok. All around the, the river, there mm -hmm. are temples and with golden roof. So during the sunset, you can see like the roof shining on the water. Right. It's so beautiful. It looks like heavy stars all around the river. You take the boat and it's, you flow with the waves of the river. It's beautiful. And for the fifth, I have to think about for the Oh, okay, if it must be food, just pad thai. Pad thai, you know, anywhere, you know, just try a pad thai. 
it doesn't matter if it's 11 in the morning or 3 in the night, just try it at night because it's Amazing. It's good all day. It is all good night. All day. You know what? Well, it's the right moment to get for that now. And that's your recommendation. Yeah. Now, what do you recommend not to do? I would say avoid booking stuff in advance. Just book when you get here. It's a lot easier to talk to the people and book it. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you're coming here and uh, booking here, all these stuffs. So make it like book online only. So it will be cheaper compared to here, coming here and booking all the stuffs from here. Right. Yeah. Well, don't walk with food in places where there are monkeys. <laughs> I got my dinner stolen by a monkey. <laughs> um, so that was fun, good story to tell. Don't drive when you don't, can't drive motorbike, uh -huh. because not good, Ooh. not good. What happened? Motorbike. Motorbike. <laughs> if you're a bachelor, then only come. If you're coming with your girlfriends, wives, not recommended. <laughs> it will be a why? cause of divorce for them, I guess, or breakup <laughs> for them. I feel so. So come single when you're a bachelor, or you can celebrate your bachelor. Or if you want to come with your family, avoid the walking street. Yeah, but in Pattaya, like we will stay in Pattaya city. So walking street is very nearby, so we cannot avoid that. So <laughs> going with parents, it's avoidable, I feel so. Right. Yeah. Personally, I like I'm trying to avoid commercial places or places like they're trying to take a lot of money out of you. Avoid like big chains and stuff like that. Avoid those things and try to give money to local people and people like that deserve it. If I travel and go at the other in the other side of the world, I don't want to expect to find the same thing that I find in Europe, you know. Otherwise, what's the point to travel in the other side of the world? So avoid yeah. anything that looks European. Yeah, because <laughs> there is no point, man, to come right. here, you know, stay, stay in your country at this point, you know. But yeah, just pop in Thailand and enjoy. Don't have a lot of plans, guys, I think. Like, just follow the flow and do what you really like without planning a lot. So, a recommendation is come here, maybe without the return ticket if you can, because you might love a place and uh, want to stay more and dip into the culture of that place. The little villages spread out on the north of Thailand, like the Hamon people, the Thai people, the Zai people, the Akka people, the Lominak, but not the one where you have to pay a ticket to get in, the one you you get to know the people and they invite you in very village in that way I think it's such a embrace the other culture and you are not taking anything from them. It's just an exchange. I give everything I give something of my knowledge of my culture and you give me back your knowledge of your culture. It's an exchange is beautiful and you can grow up in this way. And oh, you yeah. put it beautifully. Oh yeah. Man. Broad spectrum, rush through, you know, comfy, comfortable, embrace. I think we got it. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much, but I won't let you do this for free. Yeah. I got some for you. Okay. For your time. There you go. Hey, what is this? Hand sanitizer cool. spray. Cool, make a sticky rice. That's cool. <laughs> sanitizer spray. Oh, very handy. Thank you. And one last thing, can you post for the camera first? Yes. A design. Yeah, sure.